Hello guys, Maxis here, and today we are going to build this Vexilus Praetor in Alaris Custodian Terminator Armor. We have built this lad on the left last time on this channel. This is how he looked like. Uh, pretty cool. So today we are continuing with this box and we proceed with the flag bearer. The instructions for Vexilus Praetor are fairly simple. This is how it looks. And as we can see, we can alternatively build this guy as an ordinary Alaris custodian. But with this box, we're not gonna do that. I actually have a second box. Don't tell anyone. And we will try to build it on this channel a bit later. But today we're gonna proceed with the Vexilus Praetor. And we start with building his body, which is gonna be 18, 19, 21 and 23. So let's find the body parts first. We start with number 18. This is number 18. This is number 19. So both 18 and 19 are prepared. Let's dry fit them. So this is how they look together. And now we can glue them. Okay, so the torso is done. Now let's find some legs. And legs are gonna be 21 and 23. Let's start with 21. This is number 21. Number 21 is prepared. Let's improve the gripping qualities of the boots. So he's gonna be standing on this one. So this part is gonna be not glued. Now let's dry feet. So this is right leg. And this is how it looks. Fairly straightforward. Let's glue it. And you also can see there is a lock over here, which is gonna be helpful when we are adding the beat number 22. Here we go. This is the right leg. Looking good. Let's find the left one. The left one is number 23. This is number 23. Note, this is how we know, by the way, that it is 23 and not 29, even though 29 is closer. These numbers, they always point at the detail that they are part of. Like here is 20, pointing at the skirt looking thing, 28, pointing at this arm and so on and so forth. That is why we know that 23 is really this leg. And moreover, there are, there are no legs, no more legs here, so it doesn't make any sense for us to look for leg number 29. Now the left leg is prepared too. Let's try fit it. So this is how it should look like. It is extremely tricky part, so I'm gonna glue it very carefully and hold it for a while. Okay, let's try not to mess things up here. You see, this is a very tricky part to glue. Okay, so this is how it looks. And now let's put front parts 22, 24. This is number 22. 22 is done. Let's see how it will sit here. This looks nice. Let's glue it. Also note how it will be sitting on this lock. There is a lock over here, which is very good to have. I'm gonna hold it for a while. So number 22, this part is in place. Let's go for this one, which is number 24. This is number 24. The left part is cleaned up. Let's dry fit it. And this is how it's supposed to be sitting here. Looks very nice. Let's glue it. And the second leg is finished. Now to the cape looking thing, number 20. This is number 20. So number 20 is cleaned up. Let's fit it and see how it sits. So it should 
should be somewhere here like this looks very nice let's glue it this is how it looks so far now we proceed to some additional left and right shielding uh, these 26 and 27 parts we start with 26 this is number 26 number 26 is cleaned up yet again I have no idea what this thing actually is but it should be sitting somewhere here here it is you see there is a little bit of lock looking thing this part and it should be it fits perfectly here so I'm just gonna glue it really carefully because this bit is fairly small and I don't want to mess up anything so I'm gonna be gluing it like this Oop, here we go so you see this part that we just glued is supposed to be part of this chain over here that is why the positioning that we have is the correct one we shall wait I'm gonna leave it be and I'm gonna go for the 27 this is number 27 as we see 27 doesn't have any locking capabilities but it is still part of a chain you see this part so when we put it here I think it is supposed to link with something so it's supposed to be something like this I'm just gonna go ahead and this time I'm gonna be putting some glue here and now I am going to really carefully try to place this part over here so this is how it's supposed to be sitting I'm gonna press a little bit with the hobby knife so this is extremely dynamic pose if you look from the back so he's rotating and uh, that is why this shielding bits is I don't even know what it is it, it is like additional shielding additional armor piece I have no idea what it is but I think this is positioned perfectly because now you see it also connects to this chain now to the arms the right arm is supposed to be with a bolter actually oh no this is the left arm so number 30 number 31 this is number 30 and this is number 31 I have cleaned up the bolter the 31 bit and now I need to drill a hole over here in this case my bolter hole is gonna look a little bit awkward because when I started to drill I could not put it in in center and the way I kind of fixed it was pretty much taking the larger drill and drilling a larger hole so it looks more round now but it does not look particularly great but this is gonna be fine we will just pretend that this bolter is shooting really huge bolts okay so now both parts of our bolter hand are done we just need to glue them together this is how they gonna look like so I'm just gonna go ahead and put some glue around the larger bit it is also amazing how small these arms look like compared to some firstborn space marines I don't have anyone any any of those close to me but uh, next time I will try to display because these look smaller than the primary space marines we will let the hand to rest a little bit and uh, we will instead go for the misericordia sword 25 this is number 25 so the sword is prepared let's try to fit it it should be sitting somewhere here so I guess this hole is supposed to be somewhere here they instruct us to glue here so let's see how that goes 
eventually this is the position where the sword sat <laughs> and refused to go out so i guess this is our our correct positioning of the sword here I'm just gonna leave it like this and now let's uh, try to fit the left arm that should be somewhere here so there is no lock over here but it should be fairly relaxed pose so let's just try to put some glue and figure things out as we go so i'm gonna i'm gonna be trying to position it like this i think this is the correct positioning so this is it this is our bolter hand and now to the hand with the flag or vexillus thing i think it's called vexillus so we are looking for thing number 28 this is another mess up of the instruction set and the spruce look at this this flag thing that we're looking for is number 29 and the x part is number 28 however in the instruction, the X thing is 29 and the flag is 28. So they mix them up with each other. So the numbers are incorrect. So you're looking for 29 here, really. This is our 29. Okay, so the hand is prepared. Let's try to fit it. It is fairly clear that he's holding it upright like this. Wow, wow, this looks really cool, guys. Look at this. This Vexilus is huge. So now we're gonna look for a head. And they give us a bunch of options, 65, 66, 67. And as we remember from the last video, all of them are the same. So we're gonna go with the helmeted one. So the head is prepared and you don't want to drop them on the floor because this is what I did <laughs> just now. And luckily for me, my carpet is very light. So I was able to spot the head. But uh, if it were not for that, it would have been lost. So let's just glue it. Let's glue it before we lose it for good. So on all pictures, the guy is looking left, and that is how we're gonna build him. The head is done. Let's proceed to what I think is gonna be shoulder pads. So let's go with shoulder pad 55. This is number 55. This is number 55. And it should be on the right shoulder. So we're here, like this. Here we go. There is a look. This is the look. Okay, let's glue it. I am actually gonna glue the shoulder itself. Because it's gonna be easier in this case. Let's drop the shoulder pad here. Really carefully. Here we go. Takes a little bit of effort to figure out the exact position. So this is where it should sit. And now number 57, oh sorry, 56 on the left. Number 56, let's try fit number 56. Should be looking like this. Let's glue it. So this is how it looks so far. Actually pretty cool. Now we would like to put, you know, neck kind of guard, like uh, this eagle looking thing, number three. This is number three. They all look the same. All right, let's see how it sits. Should be something like this. Let's glue it. This is how it looks. Now we need to put some hair on top here. Number 32. Number 32 is prepared. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put it here. Maybe even rotate it like this. 
And the only thing that is left is to put these lads on the base. Let's check the base. You see, this is one of those things I was talking about previously. Sometimes there is some extra stuff here, which you would like to clean up before you actually put a mini. And I will, I will put the back of my mini to this part. So it should be like this. Now let's glue Let's glue the mini to the base. And as always, we would like to make sure when we glue the mini that the head is roughly in the middle. So in this case, it should be something like this. As you can see, the head is roughly in the middle now. Looking good. Let's check if we missed any instructions. We did all this stuff, this stuff, this stuff. We put the sword behind, we put both arms, we put a head. We assembled all that and that is the final look. Let's compare. Looks pretty close to what is on the picture. So I'm just gonna slightly move him a bit forward. And uh, this is the final look of it, my friends. This is how the Vexillus Praetor looks like. So he is augmenting the Alaris Custodian we built last time. This is how they look together. They actually look pretty, pretty cool. And here we have it, my friends. The Vexillus Praetor in Alarus Terminator armor. The Alarus Custodian in heavy Terminator armor with a flag or Vexillus. I think this thing is being used for teleportation, like Terminators, uh, Space Marine Terminators, tends to teleport using teleport beacons like this, like really crude looking. Teleport beacons, and this is a Terminator, Primaris Terminator, so to speak. The Alaris Custodians can teleport, if I remember it correctly, using these things. That is pretty much the flag bearer for the Terminator forces of Custodians. If you like this video, please check out some other videos on this channel that you should see on your left. Please don't forget to press the like button, and if you really enjoy the content on this channel, consider subscribing, that will really help uh, me to grow the channel. And uh, this is gonna be it for today. I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much, guys. Take care. Bye.